Hello there. Today we've got a pickups video and it's, uh, it's going to be my last for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be my last for a long while possibly. Uh, we've got, what we got? We've got all sorts. Uh, Mega Drive, GameCube, bit specky, 3DO uh, and some Xbox. Yeah, yes, yeah, a bit of, bit of everything for everybody. A uh, couple of weeks ago, Couple of weeks ago now, uh, you'll have seen the footage from everybody else. Uh, I went out with uh, on the road trip with Big Game Al and Sean Retro Games Revived and Paul Ink Northerner and oh, nearly forgot Eddie. Yeah, Rollercore. Yeah, Eddie. Uh, I'll put links to all the channels, all great chaps. Um, they do this every year, they tend to pick an area of the country and hit all the uh, uh retro gaming shops and have loads of big breakfasts. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I was I was very kindly asked to, to join them for the day. Uh, would have been nice to go for a beer after, but everything went a bit peak tongue because Eddie was in charge of booking the hotels. So it turns out they weren't as local as the four. But anyway, uh, joined them for the day, bought some stuff. I'd also, I also got a pile from uh, Big Game Al. Everybody knows he's been selling all his stuff off. And uh, I managed to get him first for lunch. <laughs> no, I haven't. I got him last. <laughs> Yeah, uh, everybody else has rifled through his Mega Drive set, set collection, but I managed to find a few that I needed, uh, that he still had. Uh, yeah, so we've got that, 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 and uh, a specky game, which is a gift from a good friend, Christian Van Tilburg. Uh, it's uh, one for the Bob Wakeley collection, and again, I'll put a link to his channel if I remember. <laughs> yeah, um, as I said, there won't be any more pickups from me. Uh, in fact, there won't be much content at all. Uh, I won't be watching much and I won't be filming much. Uh, for simple reason, I don't know what I'm doing day to day at the minute. Uh, due to the madness in the world, uh, we shut down last week at work and uh, I don't know what I'm doing from one day to the next apart from being working. Yeah, I'm still working, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I don't have a lot of spare time uh, and I, I, I don't know where I'm going. As do most of the people at the minute, yeah. Madness out there. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there won't be any more pickups uh, simply because I'm not buying shit when I don't know what I'm doing in a week's time or whether I'm going to be employed. And uh, I won't be watching because I haven't got any time. <laughs> or I might have loads of time soon, who knows? Anyway, you're not here for all that. Let's see what, let's see what we've got. We'll start with the specky game. We'll start with the old one. So this was, as I said, from my good friend Christian Van Tilburg. Um, it's Frankie Goes to Hollywood, which is an absolutely bonkers game. But the uh, artwork, actually, it's not a picture, it's a, it's a, it's a drawing by Bob Wakelin. Uh, as everybody knows, I collect Bob Wakelin artwork. Uh, it's my second to the last specky game I need for the collection, I think. Yeah, I think I just need Guts now, uh, which is uh, hard to find. There's been one on eBay forever. <laughs> yeah, the chap wants a ridiculous amount for it. Double what it goes for. Uh, I've messaged him a couple of times, he's not shifting. Uh, I'm not paying. <laughs> yeah, so he can keep that. Uh, I'll find it somewhere else. But yeah, I think I need one more specky game and maybe six Amiga titles. Um, but it's really hard to pin down. There's no definitive list. Uh, so this collection may never finish or, or it might just be that I'm happy with it and call it a day. Uh, yeah, because I think it's quite unusual. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's Frankie Guzzola. Thank you, Christian. Um, amazing, amazing drawing. You see that? I think the game's a bit mental. Yeah, I think it's all like a dream. <laughs> I can't remember. Loads of little mini games. Uh, uh, where we're gonna we're gonna pull out the back. No, no, it's not. It's not. Oh no! It's gonna have to go lay down. It's gonna have to lay down. It's not a. It's not a leaner. Clipping about now the Bob Wakelin collection. I don't think people like to see it. Um, it's a bit different. <laughs> yeah, I'll put a clip in. Um, right. As I said, these are all from Al. These are from his private collection. He's, uh, he's got rid of all his Mega Drive. 
Um, as I mentioned every time, I love buying off other collectors because you tend to get better crap than you get off eBay. <laughs> so the first game, and the one in the worst condition, a bit aware on this, but there usually is with these boxes, is Double Dragon. Yeah, been mullered on the back as well. It looks like there was a sticker on there at one point. But it is all complete. Um, the card, the instructions. For those who don't know, Double Dragon is a one or two player fighting game. Uh, an older version of Streets of Rage. Ah, you, same sort of thing, you're trying to save your girlfriend. They were all the same, what the final fight, Streets of Rage. Yeah, you work your way across the screen, kicking the crap out of everybody in your way. <laughs> yeah, it's one or two player. Uh, there's not many moves, um, but yeah, I used to play this a lot back in the day. And you're sitting there, because you're not going to stand up either, are you? Yeah, things are not going well today. <laughs> the next one, it's one I've been after for absolutely ages, and that's Ghostbusters on the Mega Drive. Uh, this looks, I've, I've watched a couple of videos on this, it looks great fun, it's... It's like a cutesy sort of graphics, uh, but you basically, basically it's a platformer in which you have to get the ghosts. Yeah, yeah, work your way across the levels, finding the ghosts and zapping them. Yeah, yeah, right up my street. Ghostbusters. Now this is an Amiga classic. Uh, well worth digging out if you've not played it. Uh, how to explain it. It's a puzzle platformer, I would say. A puzzle platformer. You have, you have three characters which you can jump between. I can't remember if you have to tag the character or if you can just press a button and it swaps. I can't remember. <laughs> but each character has different skills. Um, and to get to the next level, you have to use all three characters. You can't just work your way through. Uh, there's puzzles to complete and they'll involve one character going to somewhere that other characters can't get to. They maybe throw a switch or to, to activate a platform and then using all three to get to the end of the level. Um, these Vikings, are, I think they end up in space or they've travelled through time or something. I can't really remember. Long time since. But yeah, an Amiga classic. Uh, a lot of Amiga games ended up on the Mega Drive. Uh, I've not played the Mega Drive version. Interesting to see how that plays. The next one's uh, one that's been eluding me for a while, and that's Starflight. Uh, this is a science fiction strategy game. And like all, excuse me, all EA games, it weighs a ton. <laughs> yeah, it's actually bowed out with a manual. I'm never going to read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, been after this one for a while. Uh, doesn't come up very often. Yeah, you can actually see the case is bowing. <laughs> From the weight uh, yeah really chuffed to get that one another one added to my list of stuff i'm really really gonna play honest at some point <laughs> i haven't been down here in weeks i'm sure i said on the last video i haven't been down here in, in weeks and since i did the last video i've not been down here <laughs> yeah yeah i really need to still find a better uh, work-life balance next is a shooter zero wing uh, don't know about this apart from it's supposed to be very good. Uh, need to do a bit of repair work on this. The, uh, the front cover's a bit loose. Yeah. Any ideas? Maybe put an extra staple in. I'm not sure. Yeah, if I leave it eventually it's going to get torn. Um, but then again, I'll probably never open it again. <laughs> The next is an upgrade. I have this, but I'm missing the manual. Uh, and this is Super Minty. It's Toe, Jam and Earl. I think there's two in the series, but they're all very similar, so I don't think I'm going to bother with the other one. Uh, but this, this looks brand new. Oh, and it's got a bit of paper in it. I mean, look, that, even that manual. This is not a being a loved game. <laughs> what we got here? Oh, I love stuff like this. It's a, it's a thing. It's a pull-out thing. What we got? We've got a poster, Sonic Spinball poster, and then on the back we've got hits and uh, consoles, Mega CD, 
Game gear. Yeah, I love a good poster. Is that going to go back? Yeah. I can live in there forever and a day. Now, I'll put it back later. You don't watch me uh, fumbling about like an idiot for half an hour. So yeah, that's an upgrade. I, I already have it on the shelf, but uh, it's a bit battered. <laughs> the next is another shooter, Hellfire. I can flip these, a lot lighter than EA games. <laughs> yeah, again, all complete, in great condition, because Al looks after his shit. <laughs> yeah, just a scrolling shooter. Uh, looks a bit like our type. Nice to put on for 10 minutes. And then finally, Blue Spine. Uh, bubble and Squeak. Which is a platformer. And not an easy one to get. Doesn't want to open. Again, it's all complete. With the hang tabs for those who care. Doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, not an easy one to get, not a cheap one. So, um, I know he never watches because he's a miserable twat. <laughs> but uh, thanks a lot for those, Al. Uh, they will be looked after, cherished, and will never leave this room ever again. Uh, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, Al, when you're selling stuff, come to me first. You know what I mean? Keep snicking my games. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> right, so as I said, we went on the road trip, so I did get a few bits while we were out. Um, can't remember where we were. <laughs> I mean, we were local, uh, but I've never seen any of these shops. I didn't know any of them existed, apart from uh, Doorway to Darkness, because uh, the girth man, he goes there a lot. But the others, I didn't know where they were. I uh, didn't know where we were half the time, because I was just sat in the car. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I know two or three of these came from Doorway to Darkness and the rest came from other places I've forgotten about. So the first game I picked up was, I don't know, <laughs> Extreme G Racing, which is, it looks like, uh, it looks a bit like this, but on uh, futuristic motorbikes, a bit like Akira. Yeah, uh, it's all complete, great condition. <laughs> Lee's Deals, maybe. I think maybe this came from possibly yeah do like a bit of gamecube the next one i picked i think this came from the same place yeah uh it's burnout 2 burnout 2 bombed it now can't flip it yeah burnout 2 you're getting great condition love the early burnout well actually no i love all the burnout games uh i liked the early ones because they did that where you had to Cause the most carnage, like drive down into a T-junction or whatever and just smash everything up. And I like the uh, last one, Paradise City, because it was just brilliant. Yeah, yeah, great series. Uh, don't know, don't know what happened to them, just disappeared. Yeah, don't know. Good fun though. The next two definitely came from Doorway to Darkness, because they had a, a 3 do section, which is not something you see these days. Just a little wet. Yeah, the 3DO, um, I, if I see it, I have to pick it up. <laughs> so uh, I'd already picked some stuff up, but I'd run out of money. So I had to put that back when I know it's the 3DO stuff. So the first title we've got is Flying Nightmares. Um, this looks like a 3D simulator type thing, maybe with an arcade twist. I don't know anything about this. I know it came out on the Mega CD as well, I think. Um, it's a combat flight simulator, so I'll be rubbish at it. <laughs> yeah, flying nightmares. So that's the first one we picked up. And the second one is, and I just got this for the artwork alone, Killing Time. Uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think it might be uh, an FMV game. Um, Forgot to mention in the last one, these are all complete. Instructions in the front. And the disc in the back. Yeah, Flying Nightmares, just the same. Really nice condition. I think I had to replace the case on Flying Nightmares, but it's just a double CD case. Uh, it was, I seem to recall it was proper mullered. <laughs> yeah, it's been sat here a couple of weeks, can't remember. Yeah, I do love the FMV games. They're, they're dreadful, dreadful, but at the same time, <laughs> cheesy fun. What else we got? Uh, I think I picked this up in CEX in 
Barnsley uh, and it's a classic I love this this is just if you've not played this and you've got a 360 you really need to Portal 2 is a corker uh, it's a puzzle game but it's a puzzle game with a difference it's it's hard to explain it's a first person shooter without a gun you've just got the it's called the portal gun but all it does is it it, it shoots a hole and you can go through that hole to appear somewhere else or sometimes you can you shoot it at mirrors and refract your shot to a different place to get to a platform you can't get to to maybe operate a switch yeah it's it's mental but it's really really worth playing I couldn't believe it. Uh, can't remember can't remember where I got this from it's the walking dead I've been after these for ages I think there's two in the series um, Used to love the TV show and then got really bored of it. Uh, yeah, they just did a lot of walking around. <laughs> yeah. I'd be a lot better in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, it's all complete, nice condition. Yeah, this is going quite high up on my playlist. I really do fancy this one. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be very good. As I said. Is that stand up? Yay. And then finally, I think I picked this up in Lee's deals. This was Eddie's fault. Eddie found this. Uh, it was a good price, so he said. And uh, it's been on my uh, want list for a long, long time. And it's another blue spine for you, Scott, if you're watching. Yeah, it's true lies. I remember watching some footage on this. Uh, it looks, I can open it, great condition, this. I think this has come out of somebody's private collection. Because it's all been bagged up and everything. Uh, yeah, I think it's just uh, like a top-down shooter, basically, basically based, <laughs> based even loosely on the film. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks good fun. So there, my pickups from the uh, road trip and from Al again. Thanks to Christian. Um, have you played any of these? Uh, if you were going to play through them, which way would you start? Which are your favourites? Yeah, these are all, apart from Portal and uh, Double Dragon, these are all new to me. So, uh, playing them for the first time. So, yeah, which would you which would you recommend out of the, out of the collection? Uh, as I said, I will be going fairly quiet from now on. So, uh, I hope you're all here when I eventually turn up back. Maybe about Christmas time. Uh, if not... And you won't be. Yeah, thanks for watching, those who did. I forgot to mention, as well as the uh, generous gift from Christian, his good lady wife, uh, she made this a cover for my, uh, for my specky. Stop it getting dusty. Um, yeah, I forgot to open the drawer, so I thought I'd best add this and say, thank you, Christian's wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's ace. Look at that. Just need one for me Amiga now. <laughs>